All right, I want to talk about some YouTube features. Okay. I talk about YouTube a pretty good amount, just like kind of around the studio. Probably it's been because, a while on the podcast since we've yeah. talked about it as a platform. There's a good amount of stuff. So here's here's what I'll, I'll give you two choices. So the new mobile quality selector or YouTube shorts. Which one should we do first? I'm going to let you choose this one. Hmm. All right, I can probably get this rant out of the way real quick. That's, for the mobile uh, that's quality. I basically was saying rant on, man. Okay. Uh, so YouTube's new mobile video quality selector. It's been around for a couple, couple weeks now. You've probably seen it. Mm-hmm. Uh, you used to just go up to the little three dots in the corner and hit the quality thing and then just pick your resolution, right? Simple. Yeah. People know big number means more resolution. People know that big number means more data. I think we're all on the same page there. I think YouTube tried to simplify it. And in their efforts of simplifying choosing quality, they actually ended up making it annoyingly more complicated, where oh, now yeah. you're picking a text option. Of, let me just pull it up. I, I tweeted a screenshot of this so I yeah. can just read it to you real quick. Uh, you are now choosing not between like 1080 or 720. You're choosing between auto recommended, adjust to give you the best experience for your conditions, or higher picture quality, adjust to use more data, or data saver, lower picture quality, or advanced, select a specific resolution. That's the new selector. (laughs) And it tells you what the quality is for your current video, and if it's automatic, it might cycle up to 720, maybe 1080 if your internet connection is good enough. If you want to just switch to 4K, because you know it's a 4K video, you have to go to the three dots, you have to go to video quality, you have to go to advanced, then you have to go to scroll down and then hit 4K. I'm not looking forward to that at all. It's just worse. It's just worse. Um, it's more confusing, for sure. It's more clicks. It's it's a little more confusing. And I feel like YouTube was thinking we want to simplify this and just make people go higher quality, lower quality. They're switching to lower quality because they want to save data, or they're switching to higher quality because they want better quality. So that's what we'll put in text. Mm-hmm. But people already know that, and I don't think any new users or brand new people to the internet are confused about... And Does the big number help my video quality or data? Like, obviously, the big number is more data. Can I Just, clarify something here? Sure. So this is what happens now when you're inside of a video and you click the quality thing, Yeah. right? I could see this working better if it were, like, in your YouTube settings. It used to be. That's where it was, and you that's how you defaulted things. You're like, I want this default to be, I'm on my phone, like maybe if it's on mobile data, I want it to take less data. If I'm on Wi-Fi, I want higher yes. quality. Stuff like remember, that, that would make sense. Oh, I remember a really long time ago, I made a tutorial video oh, really? <laughs> on, there was a channel toggle, a, a login user-centric channel toggle where you could default to the highest available resolution on every video you watch. And that was a toggle you could check and you just accept that that use more data. But on the desktop, like I want that. Mm-hmm. And I, I made, I'm pretty sure that's still somewhere on the internet of like me showing people how to do that. Hello everyone, YouTubers and everyone who's subscribed already. Welcome to another HD tutorial. And in this video, I'll be showing you how to get your YouTube videos to always play in the highest quality without you having to choose it to do so. so I'm the type of person to do that. I don't know if everyone's gonna do that, but I feel like generally people know if they're watching a video and it's blurry, they're gonna turn it up to the higher number. Yeah. So just one less click, higher number, easy. Um, no more mashed potatoes. This is also the thing. <laughs> this is the thing, though, is when YouTube gets to this point where they roll out this feature and it's everywhere, they've thought a lot about it and they really want to do it. So my real feedback, if YouTube's actually listening, is they're probably not going to want to get rid of this. I would say give us an option if we would like to just go straight to the resolution selector. That would just be easier for a lot of people. I think a yeah. lot of people would do that. And maybe some some kid will make a tutorial on how to do it, and then one day he'll have a great tech channel where he makes all kinds of videos and reminisces about it. And then poops on YouTube on his podcast. Yeah. <laughs> all right, wait, hold on real quick. Adam off camera, who's on the board, just brought up a great point. We're going to get him a mic so he can just like chime in straight away. But there's a possibility YouTube just wants to discourage people from switching to 4K right away, yeah. like immediately going to the highest quality and not really thinking about it. So they've added a little bit of friction. They've added a little bit of an extra hurdle to jump over so that most people just leave it in auto and don't think too hard. Because even if you go to higher quality, 
it doesn't necessarily go to the highest resolution. Oh, wait, really? It's still dependent on your connection. It just goes to one of the higher resolutions. So I was doing this before. I switched to higher resolution, and it brought me to 1080 on a 4K video. I tested it on our own video. Oh, wow. So I selected give me the higher quality. It went 1080. I'm on a 1440p phone. I mean, phone. it's higher quality. It's than higher, what it was, but like yeah. I am already toggling this phone to be a 1440p screen yeah. because I want to see those videos in 1440, and YouTube is making me jump again. So is it a bandwidth saving thing? Adam might be right. I just wish they would just give I, me I, the option. I think there definitely is some aspect of bandwidth saving there. Um, it, that makes the fact that it's more friction. I don't know if it necessarily. My argument would be less that it's more friction and harder to change and more that it's like hinting, like hint, hint, nudge, nudge, like the way they explain it in text rather than numbers makes it feel like you're getting what is best for you. They're like, they're telling you what's best for you, which therefore comes back to including less bandwidth and benefits them. Definitely. Does that make sense? It does. Yeah. Yeah. And then when you put both of those together now, they're just selling a lot of 480, 720 video. I'm dying on this hill, YouTube. I hate it. Please change it. 